Vanguard to civilian ship. Come in. If you stop shooting at us, we'd be more than happy to respond. White lined a couple of them, but they've locked me down. Really could use an assist. We blow that ship out of the stars, he's dead and our artifact's gone. We're going to have to board. Target the engines. Once they stall out, we'll have our chance. That's it. Start the docking routine. Come on. Let's go rescue that vanguard. Am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Now I know that kind of talk. You two Marines? Constellation, actually. What? Seriously? Man, I've heard stories, but I had no idea you all were this dangerous. We've heard stories, too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Oh, that. Yeah, I mean, it's been a mess lately. Spacers, Varun Zealots, plus Ecliptic tracking me down. We ran into a few members of Ecliptic at the Nova Galactic Star Yard. I'm guessing they were after you. Ah, damn. That's probably how they found me. I knew taunting the Spacers to meet me at Neptune was a long shot. Making rookie mistakes. I've been chasing shadows around the Sol system for years. And every time I go back to Mars... Sidonia is waiting for you. Run down. Forgotten. Feels like everyone's given up, you know? I've just been spending more and more time in the star field. Sometimes I wonder if I'm really going back. Yeah? You know, that's actually kind of tempting. 
I'd have to settle some things back on Sidonia. Maybe hit me up there later. If you don't mind, we came here for something. That strange object you found? Right. Hey, it's yours. Appreciate the rescue. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. Thanks again for the rescue. Don't know what I would have done if you hadn't jumped in. Thanks for stopping to chat. Hey there. Time to get moving. Did you need something? Like their owners, for decorating their ships with heat leech nests would be a nice touch. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches in every company.
Can I be of service, Captain? You're back. Did you...? <laughs> we have it. Go ahead. Do the honors. It fits! Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Well, if you ever find a relic bottle from Earth, we'll all be happy to share it with you. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it, no other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. You can thank Barrett for that, if he's still around to thank when this is all said and done. Honestly, he took this seriously before any of us. It was at his urging that we started doing deep space scans. I will admit, it was something of a shock to see Barrett taking anything seriously. We maintain a star station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. Oh, that's right. He wasn't here when you first showed up. He should be back by now. I'll let him handle the introductions. If I steal his thunder, I'll never hear the end of it. His mind is always somewhere, but there's no arguing his knack for being in the right place at the wrong time. Oh, too bad he couldn't see the artifacts coming together. But knowing him, he'll be so excited when he gets a look, it won't occur to him that he's missed anything. Fine by me. Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> A ridiculous name, I know, but uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. 
The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Well, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grav jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So, don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. <laughs> My parents considered themselves to be enlightened, but their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything, it's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there, in the star field, Seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes. I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. I hope you got something out of that. Bye. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. We've always considered ourselves explorers, but this really is uncharted territory, isn't it? Anything I can learn from is a help. Stay safe, okay? I cannot wait to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. This does not bode well. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. No. Funny story, caught this one stealing my ship. Only reason I didn't turn her in is because we have the same last name. Dad. <laughs> All right. That's my one. Just a friendly jab. Small group like this, you'll learn more about everyone than you ever wanted to. Kind of all that family is, in a way. Like more than you'd ever want to know. Hello, kids are around, people. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. It helps to have a good teacher. Dad, don't let it go to your head. Sam? <laughs> Not let it go to his head? <laughs> Impossible. A <laughs> compliment from little Cora. It's not even my birthday. Now, let's start business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Freestar Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that, um, Makes me think one thing. Artifact. Yeah, don't piss off the Freestar Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. I guess it wouldn't hurt. We just got back from a supply run anyway. 
Let me know when you're ready. What can I help you with? That's a hell of a gun modification.
Will be. It appears things have gone downhill since the last time you were here. Argos has clearly well, washed its hands of this operation. Oh no, don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. Who knows with pirates? Revenge? Peeking at the scraps? Maybe they're from a different crew and we just got hit twice by sheer bad luck. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Not for them, anyway. Barrett is more dangerous than you might think. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. Too risky to put that in the message. Too much liability. You know how it is. Our clients need to know when the operations start and stop. We handle the rest. They could have grav-jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up.
Where did you learn to pick a... You know what? On second thought, I don't want to know. You wanna try fixing that computer? Go ahead. Don't see what good it will do since they're already gone, but fine. Here. You need it? I'm fine, Dusty. In this line of work, you make do. Even when the worst happens. before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gonna tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. You underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller. One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital D, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. So, you actually get that computer working again? What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Well, don't start buying me stuffed animals for my birthday or anything. But yes, all right. I don't like seeing my people hurt. Even Barrett and Hella. Just get after them, okay? And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. 
My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. Sure. I don't mind taking orders from a former employee. It can't be worse than working for Barrett. <laughs> After this mess? Certainly. It's just a job. Nothing to get sentimental about. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I need it. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later.
Anything interesting in range? It's you. In here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Nah. Nah. I'll, I'll be alright. Just, you know, wasn't trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me. You should let us help you. There's no reason for you to have to suffer needlessly. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Mm, not <laughs> what you and I would call a plan, necessarily. I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, this kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these pearly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was just another day on the job. You missed the fun part, Heller. <laughs> I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little 
finger gun thing. Well, no, I don't think so. I caught him holding his ribs a few times. <laughs> Favored his left leg a bit, you know? Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. Yeah, you know, you're really the one who should be upset about all this. Me laying here half conscious, real inconvenience. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good <clears throat> space to have a listen. <laughs> here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Yeah, just, uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Uh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be alright. I'll be alright. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. There's something I need to talk to you about. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Uh, don't worry about me. I'm a tough cookie. The painkillers are starting to work. I'll be just fine after a good nap. Phew, oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Vectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? Hmm, that's an interesting reaction. But I suppose it shouldn't surprise me. When dealing with the artifacts, common sense tends to go right out the window. Honestly, I wasn't sure how you'd react. 
Some people would consider what you went through a deeply personal experience. Oh, well, uh, I, uh, I enjoy hearing about them. <laughs> Professionally, of course. Either way, um, we need all the help we can get. The artifacts are so different, so alien. And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Well, judging from the fact that both you and Barrett claim to have heard music, I've made the leap that the artifact was reaching out. Music composition might not consist of words and sentences, but I'll be damned if that isn't an attempt at language. Agreed. Unfortunately, there's no way that I know of to reply. And believe me, I've been trying to gather data on the damn things for years. Not much, I'm afraid. All I have to show for my efforts are eyewitness accounts, scores of inconclusive metallurgical test results, and wild theories. Oh, no, not at all. There's so much going on there, I can't afford to divert all of our resources. But I have classified the artifacts as a priority project. Frustrating? No. Bewildering? Yes. It would be... Oh, well, an explorer's dream to solve a mystery like this. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk, and for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> it's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. Got something for me? If you have any gear you want me to...
Bye for now.